Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sumit. And here I'm with my new video in software installation series. And today's video is how do we set up the VMware workstation player in Windows 11. So before I begin and uh, demonstrate you how to do that, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the updates on the latest videos. So recently I come across with a requirement in one of my training there where I have to demonstrate to all my participants that how to set up VMware workstation player in Windows 11 and then how do we install an operating system on it and how do we install the software in that VMware operating system works VMware workstation operating system. So it's a series of three videos. So this is the first part. In this video, in today's video, I will be going to show you that how do we set up a VMware? How do we install a VMware workstation player? In my second part, second part of the video, I will be going to demonstrate that how do we install, uh, how do we set up or configure an operating system on a VMware workstation player? And in the third part of the video, I will be going to demonstrate that how do we install the software like the SQL Server database and the Tableau desktop or any other any other software you would like to install depends on the requirement. So let's begin this video. And the very first step is in order to down in order to install VMware Workstation Player in Windows 11. So the very first so the very first step is you have to navigate to this URL. You have to open this URL VMware.com and uh, workstation player evaluation.html. Please, uh, you have to navigate to this URL. I'll share this link in the description below. You can follow that link. Then scroll down to, uh, to begin your download. So you have to click on try workstation 17 for 17 player for Windows. Click on download now. When you click on download now, your download will begin and it will download a set of file on your location on your desktop or whatever location from where uh, like where you would like to download it. So I have already downloaded it and let me begin my installation. And in order to do that, I just click on the file, the, the setup file which I've downloaded. I simply click on that and it will begin my installation. So because I'm using the Windows OS, so therefore it will ask for the security first. It will ask for the permission before install before begin the installation. I click on yes. And now it will begin my installation. So it, there is a series of wizards. As you know that the way we used to install the other operating the other softwares or any, any, uh, any software. So it's similar to that. So as you can see, I simply, uh, my installation will begin here and it will give me the wizard. So as you can see, step number one, welcome to VMware Workstation 17 player setup wizard. Click on next. It will ask for the end user license agreement. So you have to accept the license agreement to proceed further. Click on next. And it is asking for the compatible setup. So changing settings for Windows feature compatibility. So it says install Windows Hyper version platform automatically. So we just skip it part and right now we'll move, move this to next. And as you can see, this is the installation directory. The, that's the location where your file, uh, where the set, uh, this software is going to install. If you want to change it, you can click on the change button and change the location. As on required, you can change the locations. And add VMware Workstation console tool, uh, tools into system.path. And I just checked this option also, enhanced keyboard driver, a reboot will be required to use this feature. Click on next. Check for the product update on startup. I don't want this. And I, I'm just check, I'm checking this also, join the VMware. So I just skip this part and click on next. And it will create a shortcut for the VMware workstation on the following places. So would you like to create a shortcut on your desktop or on your start menu program? So it depends on that, you can check it and finally click on next and click on install. So your installation will begin. It may take, it will take some time. So it will install the necessary files.
So you can see the VMware Workstation 17 player has been installed successfully. And if you if you have any license, so if you want to enter your key, you can click on license and enter the key license key if you have any. Else, click on finish. And it will ask you for a start the system for the configuration changes made for the VMware workstation to take effect. You have to click on yes and restart now. So I'm going to click on yes. now. So after the installation, once we restart our uh, once we restart our system. So let's go and verify whether the software, the VMware has software has been installed successfully or not. And you can see this is the VMware workstation installed successfully on my system. So let me open this VMware workstation and verify whether it has been installed. So it's working perfectly fine or not. So I'll just open this VMware workstation. And you can see my workstation is ready. And you can see I'm getting one Windows 11 system. So let me remove it from the library because I will be going to start it from the beginning. So once quickly setting, we have to do if it is needed. But uh, for that, what we need to do, we need to activate an operating system. So that's the way you can see we successfully uh, we successfully install a VMware workstation software on our desktop. So that's all in this video. In the next video, in the next part, I will be going to show you that how can we create a new virtual machine or how can we set up an operating system on a virtual machine so that will be going to discuss from where we can download and how do we set up and how do we download and uh, set up a new virtual machine in our vmware workstation player so that will be going to discuss in our next session till then keep watching have a nice day goodbye